let's see what's coming your way let's see the energies around you and you know you have to use your better judgment and you know you have uh, to take only what resonates so Virgo, what do we have here? We do have the Eight of Cups and we have the Queen of Wands. Might be a fire sign who walked away and it's walking away slowly, right? Somebody emotionally disconnected. That's Eight of Cups being called by the destiny. Um, Ten of Wands in reverse. They needed to put the burdens down. Somebody walked away because the responsibility was too big. The burden was too big. They needed kind of to lighten up a bit and oh my god <laughs> right nine of swords ten of wands stressed and burdened feels like they had no choice and this can be you virgo right it can be the uh, the fire sign as well um but can be you um also um eight of cups ten of cups now we know why we walked away we walked away for happiness blissful life emotional abundance being with family three of cups reunion uh, whoever walked away, walked away for a reunion of some sort, going back to uh, family members. Ace of Wands in reverse, right? It was uh, a new beginning delayed and now they decided to give it a go, to give it a chance. So Virgo, let's see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. The most important one and we do have the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Most certainly a new beginning. We do have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Somebody was dishonest. Um, cheating, lying and deceiving. And um, and now we have that beautiful new beginning. I do love the Ace of Pentacles. This is the energy of building slowly, right? This is the energy of stability. This is your energy and it's growing in your own energy. Uh, which is amazing because we know it's successful instead of um, changing and shifting in order to fit a new beginning of some sort so so let's see Virgo past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual let's look into the current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible oh okay I'm going to take it king of cups in reverse it's an emotional new beginning but we are moving on no matter what right and let's have the possible outcome. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We had fire sign while shuffling, but we'll see. And the Queen of Cups. Oh, I know Virgo, right? We fell out of love over here. Um, so I love the overall energy. It is a new beginning, but it's also a confirmation for some of you, Virgo, that this connection was reciprocated. That was love. That was a king to queen kind of energy, but then we fell out of this connection. We fell out of love, out of commitment. All the cups went in reverse. We got emotional, I uh, mean, reaction, maybe angry. And, um, and somebody had to walk away and that's how we are in a new beginning here. And uh, for some of you, it's really a matter, right? A matter of emotions over money, love over money and and then um, it was a matter of time, right? And I say a matter of time because we do have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords in reverse in the past. Um, so this is a new beginning delayed, you know, somebody, and it's on your side, but again, uh, Virgo, you know, um, you know what resonates or not. But this is, and we have the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. So it's kind of like the universe knocking at your door and saying, you need something new. This can no longer work. You have, you should uh, let go of this one, right? I'm kind of sending you like, um, you know, signs that Ace of Pentacles, that is something that you can have and you can grow and it's beautiful. Ace of Wands, it's something, a new beginning related to your passion, your career. Um, it will bring a new um, vitality into your life. That's the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords is something of an idea that you had and you always were a project that you always kind of postponed and now it's you know the universe said come on I showed you the signs uh, and you didn't listen right hmm. or you haven't listened anyways um, and now it's I mean it was meant to be I mean three new beginnings right uh, offered in three different energies right so now this person of yours Virgo, they do have the nine of pentacles and they have the page of swords in reverse, right? Uh, this is being single. This is being single. This is really 
um, you know, working on their independence, uh, being well on their two, um, two feet, right? Um, and probably not communicating much. Um, I would say silent treatment, stalking you, making uh, sure that they know. Um, but at the same time, focused on themselves. We know Nine of Pentacles is also the energy of health and well-being. So whatever happened between the two of you and whatever new beginnings you are forced or pushed into, this person also focused on their own, um, you know, uh, future and things coming their way. Now, mutual energies between the two of you, we do have the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Kind of the universe saying, well, you were doing the work, right? Uh, you were the one keeping this family together with the Ten of Pentacles, keeping this connection together. We have the energy of balanced, um, of balanced friendship and love combined with building a life together. Ten of uh, Pentacles is the energy of of family and legacy and uh, financial abundance. So uh, maybe you are the only, uh, you know, the only provider here. It has an, an energy of hard work, right? And and being the stable one. So what are we right now? We do have the Nine of Cups and we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Of course, out of balance, things are not as we want them to be. But in the same time, I love the energy of the Nine of Cups because this is your energy of wish fulfillment. This is your energy of, I know what happened, it was not beautiful, but I wanna chase my dreams now, right? Um, I have dreams to fulfill. I have projects to run. I have some things that I desire, right? And eventually balance will come, right? That's the six of pentacles, you know? I'll, I'll, I'll get into shape. I'll, I'll get into financial shape, into emotional shape. I'll get what I want, once I get what I want, I'll, I'll be good, I'll be at ease, right? Now this person of yours, they do have the chariot and the knight of swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and Cancer energy. And this is the energy of breaking free. This is the energy of they keep going, right? This is the energy of attacking the future. This is the energy of kind of a reckless aggressive. I mean, this combination of energies right, right here is... Um, this person of yours reacting to whatever happened and um, kind of going into the opposite direction recklessly in some way, you know, impulsively. Doing things and breaking free in a way with, you know, kind of uh, a sense of anger at this time. And it's um, kind of sad, right? Because they started with the Nine of Pentacles, which is the energy, I'm good, no matter what, I'm good. No, I don't need that communication with the Page of Swords in reverse. I, I, I don't want to have conversations. I have nothing to say. And now it's a sense of, um, of anger, but pushing forward, right? Mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the hangman. We do have the hangman. Stagnation, nothing happening. Observing each other. And the Eight of Swords in reverse. There is a sense of mental prison that we release ourselves from, both of you. It has a sense of ease and it has a sense of I'm going to be my friend and not my enemy. Even if I don't move much at this time, my mind needs to be emptied out of, of negative thinking, pessimism, thinking, you know, uh, feeling blindfolded and not, not seeing actually the bigger picture. Well, I don't need the bigger picture for me to move on, right? One step at a time. And, um, and I feel that this is, uh, this is where we are. Right? Wanting wish fulfillment, even if things are not moving as we want them to. Um, energy is coming your way. Uh, we do have the Five of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And it's interesting, Virgo, because we have the same energy, Ten of Pentacles upright, uh, between you and this person. So again, you are the one making the effort and keeping everybody together. And coming your way is finally solving a family conflict. Again, Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the Five of Swords in reverse. Whatever happened, um, that is a solution for it. And I and I kind of feel that you are the one bringing, bringing it to the table and, and finding a compromise of some sort. Again, for the sake of the family, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. It has a sense, doesn't have to be marriage for some of you, can be, but it's more a sense of, okay, let's... Um, Let's bury the hatchet here, and um, I know how, right? Now, this person of yours, um, 
the outcome of this, we do have Judgment and we have the Knight of Swords. They want to stop whatever they are doing. It's the same energy of the Knight of Swords, just that it is in reverse. So somebody here gets stopped in, in their tracks for a reconciliation here. We do have Judgment. They want a second chance and they are willing to stop whatever they are doing for a second chance. And mutual energies between you and them, Ace of Wands and the Page of Pentacles in reverse, right? A lot of passion, not a lot of um, communication of that passion. Um, it has the energy of new beginnings, but again, Page of Pentacles, it is in reverse. I kind of feel, Virgo, that, um, you know, we need to sit down and think about and ponder in some way. Um, because, yes, too, we still have them and we still want them and that is still attraction but we also have um the doubt right should we extend something again do we want to do we want this right page of pentacles in reverse questioning um and it, you know how it feels Virgo? it feels like um a decision between compromise to solve a conflict or a family conflict and a new beginning of some of some sort I kind of feel in your energy you are ready for new beginnings and something is pulling you uh, back, right? For the sake of God knows what, right? And for the wisdom that we gained in the process. That is something that stops you. And, and I'm not sure you should stop at this, at this point. Because you have Ace of Wands, twice Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. The universe is knocking at your door, um, Virgo. Perfect. So um, let's ask for some guidance. Um, should we say yay? Should we say nay? Always the same question. We do have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So if you have feelings for them, well, guess what? Make the effort and explore, right? Explore them. So great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. We do have engagement. Well, that is judgment. That is a decision. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This connection has potential. And we have to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Um, make the effort, stay optimistic and commitment. I do feel that the universe is guiding you towards this person. Um, Virgo. I do feel that that is a shared kind of uh, task list that, um, you know, or chores, chores list, right, that needs to be done because that is part effort and that is part their effort. So it's quite a combination of, but I don't feel you are guided um, someplace else. But let's see. We do have the divine masculine and romantic feeling. So if you love this person, you are guided to work to, towards a commitment, right? So the Divine Masculine, for some of you, we need to act from a place of higher self. Um, if you are a Virgo Divine Masculine and you have feelings for this person, you are actually called to act, to act from a place of, um, of Divine, making the effort, bringing this commitment to the table and staying optimistic. And we make the effort by also protecting your secret garden, your universe, yourself, your inner child, um, the work that you've accomplished. We do have engagement in and yang. That's um, inward and outward energy, right? This is the balance within us and also with this person. Um, and I feel that the universe is kind of um, saying you something with this, right? They are your uh, better, better half. And we do have worthiness. Stay optimistic about your love life and worthiness. You know, we know it's um, all about self-esteem. It's all about confidence. It's all about what we deserve, manifesting with what we deserve and working on all this. Bottom of the deck, back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. And I feel with the nine of cups, that's the energy right now. And you are guided, right? Back to what you love. I mean, you, we cannot have a more clear message. Uh, then let's make the effort. Let's bring this to the to the next level. Let's stay positive about and let's go back to right to the person we love. 
Um, so let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow at this time. And we do have expression. We have romantic feelings, divine masculine and expression. Somebody here receives a real message of please express your romantic feelings to a divine masculine. So you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. We have make the effort, the garden and fear. So somebody probably is secretly afraid of a commitment of some sort or to make the effort or to want to, um, um, you know, welcome the idea of they are the one. So I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love, right? We release fear. That's the energy we need to, um, to send out. We do have worry. Oh my God, it's fear and worry. Uh, Virgo, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So no fear, no worries. Express your feelings, right? We do have gratitude. You fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. And it comes with engagement, stay optimistic, worthiness, and gratitude. And bottom of the deck, we do have surrender to the beauty of natural world. Somebody needs to spend some time outside. Connect with the nature. So take a relaxing uh, break, Virgo, and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. And let's have some general guidance. doesn't have to be connected to... Um, um this love connection that you are inquiring about but sometimes it is so what do we have we have karma releasing i love this move beyond drama virgo create your own path make room for good energy what else we do have detox your friendships your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. And bottom of the deck, we have base chakra. Choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, career, and finances as your words determine your outcome. What we send out into the universe is coming right back to us. Um, so we're going. <clears throat> so I'm losing my voice here. This is all that I have for you guys. Um, please use your better judgment as the universe is sending you back to a person that uh, probably you love and the person um, that loves you, right? But I want you to use your better judgment. You know exactly. Uh, what happened and if you are safe doing that right so i count on you if not this is all that i have for you guys you know i love you i wish you nothing but the best i wanted to stay strong and safe and come see me next time love you take care